know, I would describe Hillary as an e-person long before she was doing all her blogs and Twitters and amazing things online. It's e for energy, e for enthusiasm and e for execution. Brand Hillary is an awesome combination of consummate professionalism, fierce attention to detail and a beautiful turn of phrase. We both come from a generation that are total fanatical workaholics. This is really exciting as we're backstage at Christian Dior just minutes, seconds perhaps, before the show starts. And we've got a chance to see all the pieces up close, see inside, see all the incredible detailing done by the Petit Man. These are the little hands that work and the ateliers and do everything by hand. It's so exciting. As you can see, some of the clothes have been unwrapped. I think people trust her. You know, it, is a, it is a business where you've got to be trusted. Therefore, I think people know that she's actually looking for something fresh, wow, new, something somebody else hasn't spotted. There's, a, there's a, an adrenaline that's so passionate to get across a message that is a total perfection. I always love to see her like, running across backstage or something and see this little fur hat bobbing along. Hilary and I both come from the old school of journalism when you have to get the story. There's no about you're not going to get to see Carl, no feeling that maybe John Galliano doesn't want to see you today. You just got to elbow and push your way in. And also, you know, she's recognised by the designers. She's been loyal to them. She's been to all the shows for years. Why wouldn't they welcome her with open arms? Can you leap in and do a quick bit? Me and Hilary? Me and Hills? <laughs> Yes, I remember always the smiley, friendly face somewhere in the middle of the crowd saying, can I have an interview? Um, always being so positive and enthusiastic and passionate about whatever fashion show she had just seen, whether I was on the runway or off the runway or at a fashion event. I've seen Hillary filing copy at one o'clock in the morning at a nightclub in Brixton during London Fashion Week. After an Antonio Brady show, she was bashing away on her keyboard while the music was blaring, phoning in her copy to a copy taker in the days before email. It's just incredible. She is always, she's got her laptop and she is beavering away continually. Somebody of her stature has received so many awards that she's probably lost count. Hillary is so known internationally, that's why she's won the awards. And I think this CFDA award that Hillary has received is really the crowning glory. In my view, she deserves the highest honor that you could possibly give somebody in her profession. She's just brilliant. One thing I'll say about Hillary, they don't make them like that anymore. She's always been this fantastic, larger than life character. It's hard to find the right words, but just to tell you that she is somebody that, having been in my own field of business for more than 40 years, I have the utmost respect for. She's, she's second to none, I would have said. She's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, fashion lady. I remember Hillary in an interviewing being asked what made her really happy and she had this wonderful list of the fact that she loved gardening, she loved walking, she loved cats, she wanted to write books. You really had a feeling that whenever she got the chance that her to-do list was only going to grow, never to shrink. Hilary, I know you told me that it was your father who wouldn't allow you to go and study archaeology 
and got you a job at the local newspaper and thank God he did because I was so pleased we had this fabulous time in the fashion business together and uh, go off and do archaeology but come back occasionally and do the collections as well please. And I think it'll be very interesting in the next decade of how the Telegraph lives without you. Maybe they'll be calling you back from Cambridge. So let's wait and see. So it is with much love, Hills, that we all wish you a wonderful and exciting new chapter in your life. Hilary, now you're going to be an archaeological guru. I'm expecting to see you very often wearing fantastic historical bangles you've dug up out of the ground. And good luck, wish you well. Don't disappear because I know you won't. Here, all right? Lovely. They all say that. Not too close up, come on. <laughs> I'm not 25. <laughs>